And we're back with some more RimWorld. And right now our pawns are trying to tidy the place up and do a little bit of construction. We're trying to finish off this sort of curtain wall in the hopes that we can stop our enemies from just waltzing right in and attacking our reactors. So far, reasonably success. What the? Where was that fire? Uh, oh, at the same time, we're also trying to burn all of these uh, these bodies. It's just we've got too many on the map at the moment. There is 900 of them. 985, 984. What? What? Go a little bit faster. Actually, we'll speed this up a little bit. So, the plan today. Try and actually finish out the engine activation. We've got 6.8 days left. But my theory is, we have been hit by so many raids so quickly that... I mean, they've got to give us a break at some point, right? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Whatever, we've been hit by more than one raid a day. I'm, I'm actually getting mildly hopeful that we might finish out these walls. I mean, we've got most of this down here done, and I have cranked up the delivery so that people will actually bring the bricks out for the builders. I think the problem we're having at the moment is the builders are doing all the hauling and it's slowing everything down. I want the builders building, and I want the haulers hauling. Oh, yep, the game's just hung. I don't think we're going to get to finish these walls. Not like I was hoping, anyway. Okay, Randy, let's uh, turn on the mini-map and see what you've brought for us. Well, the moment you unpause... Seriously? Wow, that is that is a serious amount of thinking you're doing there. Uh, I think I'll just fast forward this a bit. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Damn, that is... That is... Oh wow, that's a lot of people. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, they are attacking immediately. Group of tribes people attacking immediately. Yeah, 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 whatever. All terrible stuff. 4, 47,000 points or something like that. Who knows? Let's just check the numbers, shall we? Enemies! Easy peasy, 812. Now, if we were looking for a pawn of a specific type, now would be the time to look for it. Do you want someone who's iron-willed? How about someone who's tough? Bet you still can't find a tough, nimble brawler, though. They're pretty much impossible. Yeah, I went through all of them. There's no tough, nimble brawlers there. It's it's a dream, though. It is a dream. Now, um... Right, this looks like a... God, that's a large attack. We could use an anti-grain, but that feels like it would be an overuse. We've still got 6.4 days left on engine startup, and we don't have a lot of anti-grains left. We got one loaded up, two loaded up, and I think I put one in... No, actually, that's it. Oh, three. We've got three anti-grain warheads left. I think we're going to save them for something a little bit more dangerous. I think it's time we broke out some more doomsdays. Let's get some people out front to start shooting, and I think we'll occupy a kill box. Oh, wow. We actually fixed up that kill box, but this one is still... Hmm... Yeah, this place is going to require work, isn't it? It's just uh, I haven't actually repaired these. I've got everyone too busy building instead of going and repairing the kill box that we were going to be using next. Give me a minute. Well, this is going to be an interesting way of doing things. Uh, I've decided there's no such thing as overkill in this scenario. Oh god, Slim, you're going to be so slow getting out of there. We are going to hit them with just about everything we possibly can. Now you, I want you to fire that right about there if you wouldn't mind. And we've even brought along a few triples just to make sure that we do the maximum amount of damage possible. Oh, and we're going to need a intern seven there. Whoop. Damn it. I keep selecting the door. Okay, you go there, you go there. Uh, Slim, I think I'm actually going to get you to haul that, actually prioritize hauling that, that doomsday. Okay then. Oh, and I should bring the animals back inside. So since there is so many of them, we are just going to go ham with all of our weapons and then run. Uh, into the protection of our kill box. Uh, you. You know what? That is fine. We will put you right there. Uh, you. We will put you right there. Oh, God. Uh, we might want to put down another one. Yeah, we will put you right there. And you are about to come in range now, so we will put you... Oh, right there is fine. That is so many. Um, is that first doomsday about to fire? Oh, there we go. There it... One second. Let's get rid of the text bubbles. I want to see what happens when this impacts. Oh, fire that again. That was Petro. Wait, no. Yeah, that was Pietro. 148 kills. Oh. I think they've got more than 148 kills now. Well, they will once the game figures out what's going on. It might take it a second, but it'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to go get a cup of tea. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my God. 236 kills. 
What just happened? Oh. <laughs> that is a corpse explosion if ever I've seen one. Oh my god, the, the, the doomsday hasn't actually finished, but there's so many corpses, they're just blooming out like that. A corpse blossom. Um, I think I might want to stop the firing of the triples because I don't think we need them anymore. Oh. <laughs> um, I think we may have hit the mother load. 379 kills on... Uh, uh, wait, is it Totvedas? Okay, whoever fired that, they just got a lot of kills. And come on. Come on. Oh, man, the corpses, it's going to be... Oh, they broke. Um, I have to... Guys, I need to select those guys and stop them from firing more weapons. Oh my god, just pause the game for a second. <laughs> okay, we will. Uh, undraft, draft, there we go. <laughs> and Totvias is up to 587 kills. Um, yes. That was quite possibly the most brutal doomsday I have ever seen in my entire life. That was gorgeous. Just beautiful. 307 of them left out of about 800. Ah. <sighs> yep, pity it's hard snowing, otherwise that'd all burn up. Right, um... I suppose, sorry for the false alarm, guys, you can you can all get back to work. Uh, in turn 7, you can go you know, pick up an assault rifle, I suppose. But we'll get you to put the doomsdays away and the triples. We had a whole bunch of weapons here. I, I was ready to go ham, but that first doomsday just... Wow. Is that just blood there? I think... I think that is just super intense amounts of blood. Uh, yeah, blood by three for... You know what? It doesn't matter. It's over. There is a lot of injured people. Oh my god, there's so many injured. No, no. We don't need any more prisoners. Just going to get everyone back to work and hopefully finish our walls. I have also put a bunch of people on repairs. We've got to repair up this kill box. Uh, I might even strip some of the bodies out of it, though I could also set this on fire. I wonder what happens if we set a fire in here. Would the heat escape into this room, or would the sheer quantity of doors stop it from escaping? You know, not worth finding out just yet, but if the corpse problem does become bad enough, we can always set fire to the place. All right, let's uh, finish out the repairs, then we're going to finish out the walls. Somehow, yep, yeah, hauling limestone blocks to walls. Yeah, we're going to get all the pieces delivered, then our constructors can finish it off. As for over here, yeah... We can't burn these all. It keeps snowing all the time because we keep starting corpse fires. Eh, we'll have to just keep trying until eventually the bodies burn up. Randy will eventually get tired of giving us snow. I am glad to see that despite the state of the place, I mean, look at this place, it is absolutely filthy. Uh, there are still new lovers pairing off with each other. Yeah, everyone's having a good old time. Uh, we'll maybe get around to the cleaning tomorrow. For now, I think everyone needs a bit of a nap. We have six days left on the engine startup. So a bit of a nap might do them good, because I'm pretty sure the worst of it has yet to come. Well, judging by that hanging, I think another raid is about to hit. God damn it, we haven't finished the wall yet, we're so close. I'd show you, but unfortunately the game is hanging. I think, judging by this, yep, yeah, we're, we're looking at more humans, because I don't think the mechs caused this much of a drop-off. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward time. Alright, the Eaters of Blood. Well, they sound like a very happy bunch. Uh... Let's see. They will prepare for a while and then attack. Hmm. There are people who have relationships with your colonists. Keep in mind that even though they're related, they will still attack each other. Okay, uncle of colonist Grey Ghost, grandmother of colonist Grey Ghost, sister of colonist Daniel Tolte, and grandfather of colonist Grey Ghost. Grey Ghost, you're about to have a bad day, buddy. Sorry, I think your family members are about to... Wow, we're up to 49... We're, we're up to like almost 50,000 points on raids. That's five times the normal size. It's just... Uh, the raids keep getting worse because every time the, the new crowd show up, they just keep dropping more wealth on the map. Even bodies count towards wealth. Oh, wow. You can just, like, see where we just went off into the stratosphere right there. Well, I mean, we kind of even out there once we started burning all the bodies, but... Well, this second corpse blossom thing over here, that just... No. But these guys... Hmm. They're going to wait for a while and then attack. That means we might be able to sneak in some stuff. Like, what? What? There's only 467 of them? Oh, wait a minute. Could these guys potentially have shield pops and stuff like that? All right, I have a plan. We are going to do this the fun way. Yeah, we're going to get a doomsday, and we're going to get a caster, and we're going to have a little bit of a fun time. Ooh, Charlie's created more Phoenix armor. Uh, where is intern six? God, I still haven't named these guys. I am a monster. 
Uh, Forceware Phoenix Armor Masterwork. We're going to get that on in turn six. And then, actually, what's your gear? You are getting pig for tribal, whatever. You're grand on that front already. What we're going to do here is we're going to get Ralph and we're going to get them to get a Doomsday. Then, after they've got a Doomsday, we're going to get them to pick up some Molotovs. It'll require us to do a little bit of a caravan trick. But the plan is relatively simple, actually. Tell you what, why don't you equip the Molotovs first, then we'll get you to pick up the Doomsdays. You see, what we want to do here is get this Doomsday and skip it into the enemy formation. They're going to wait for a while. The problem is if we get close enough to fire a Doomsday at them, they'll aggro to us and that means they'll pop out of each other. We want them to be inside each other. So we want to skip a Doomsday into the... You know what? Show don't tell. We are going to make a caravan with Ralph here. Uh, actually, Ralph, maybe don't carry all of those meals and medicine with you. You're, you're not going to need that. And the human letter better roll. You, you, can, you, can, you can cancel all of that. Perfect. And what we'll get them to do is... Ralph, we want you to load the Doomsday rocket launcher up into your caravan. That means they can carry it around with them. And why is that in the doorway? So we can get that out of there. Oh, yeah, we've been... Yeah, we haven't been stripping the people. We, it's been busy. We haven't had time to strip the people before we uh, we prepare them for cooking. All right, you. Uh, doors over that way. Start heading this direction. We want to get closer to them. Not too close, mind you. Wherever they decide to call their uh, waiting point, you want to get closer. Oof. Nope, nope, we got this. We got this. This is the speed the game is moving at right now. Yep, this is on, on, on double speed. Let's try going to triple. Warp speed! No. No. Well, I can't really blame them. After the stuff we've done to this map, and we have disabled the, the raid limiter, they were put in for reasons. So I can't really complain about the lack of speed when it's my own stupidity that's doing it. But, hey, who is that guy? McGee? Uh, I think they're having... Oh, confused and wandering. Dementia? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Ooh, actually, let's check to see if any of these are any good. I'm just curious. I don't actually need any more recruits. We do have a tough, nimble, too smart pawn. I mean... Oh, n n nothing wrong with looking. I mean, the too smart's not great. It does mean they uh, they break a little bit easier, but... Uh, yeah, they'd make a good... Like, the nimble is what really makes it. Tough and nimble in any type of brawler type character or close combat person, absolutely excellent. Now, no, we need to get closer. Because if we get too close, they pop out of each other. So we want to stay far enough away that they don't aggro, but close enough that we can get the doomsday where we need it. I think, I think we've got the right spot. We're going to dump this right here. All right, we'll throw it down on the ground. And we're going to back off a bit. Right, and then we're going to throw a Molotov cocktail at a Doomsday rocket. Because of course... Ah, we've aggroed someone. Damn, okay, go back a bit further. We need to find out where the Diagro range is. Come on. I think we've Diagroed, or... No, he's, he's actually trying to shoot us. Okay, throw that at the Doomsday. Until it goes below 50%, we don't have to worry about it exploding. So... No, that's a miss. Ralph, come on now. You're better than that. Or not. There we go. Now that knocked it down by 10% from the hit, so we're just going to keep tossing them, actually. Come on. Nope, it's another miss. You've managed to miss three out of four. That's actually kind of impressive, considering it's a splash damage weapon. There you go. Right on the money. And it's down to 73. 63. Okay, last throw. Now charge forward. Down to 53. Perfect. Once it goes below 50%, then every time it does its little... Uh, gets burned. Double check something here. From there to there, there to there. I'm going to be a little bit closer. I don't want to be so close I aggro people. Hmm. I think... I think that there... Yeah, that there might be close enough. So what we want to do is wait until this thing starts hissing. Uh, it'll only start hissing when it's below 53% and it takes 50 and it takes damage. Once that happens... God damn it, I hate this guy Jared. I should have brought someone with a sniper rifle. Uh, do you have anything that can get rid of him? Well, uh, not really. I mean, we have Beckon, but that's not going to help us. Hmm, no. Actually, a good idea might be to skip him away if he gets close enough. He might not get that close, but if he does, it would be a good plan. 
Okay, Doomsday's at 44%. Doomsday. Start hissing. You could start hissing now. That would be great. Yeah. Guy's almost in range. Damn it. Okay. You know what? I know how we deal with this. Oh, God. You. Just get over there somewhere. Excellent. I thought they were all close combat. Seriously? You better start hissing. It's the heavy snow. It's starting to put it out. Please don't make me risk throwing another Molotov at it. I'd really prefer not to do that. Okay. We have liftoff. All right, now I need to... Oh, Jared, you're in a perfect position. What I need you to do is just hold that spot so I can go like that. Uh, wait, where was it exactly I was trying to get to? Yeah, perfect. We're going to teleport you to there. And we need to wait until that finishes its teleport animation, I think. Okay, it's done. And we need to skip that from there to right about there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that worked. That worked beautifully. And then we need to jump out of dodge. You need to jump there and get back inside. Oh. All right, then. Let's see what they're talking about. Actually, no, no. Let, let's just see what kind of mess they leave behind. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. It didn't kill any of them, did it? Did any of them even get hurt? Oh, they all had shield belts, so the shield belts protected them. That is actually incredibly impressive. Okay, then. My bad. Uh, everyone but Ralph and intern six. We're going to need you up here. And it's assuming the game catches up at some point. That's actually kind of disappointing. I was really hoping we'd do more damage than that. Uh, I think... I think the problem was I only brought one Doomsday. Should have brought two. I had brought two Doomsdays. That would have been so much better. Oof. Dear Lord, they are starting their assault. This is going to be problematic. Uh, we may have to lure them back to the kill box. The problem is they've got all those shield belts on them. And they're going to recharge before we get another chance to get a shot at them. I suppose a lot of them are injured. Maybe if we spread them out enough, it might be enough to work. And we do have a few Berserk Pulses. Uh, Ralph, go grab yourself your assault rifle. And get back on the line. A couple of berserk pulses and a whole bunch of machine gun fire should sort this out pretty quick. And of course there's some new lovers. Of course there is. I have also summoned in our animal brethren. Or... What the hell, guys? Uh, Slim. There you go. And where's the other guy who's in charge of our animals? I mean, who did it? Intern Zero? How did you end up with all the thrombos? Intern Zero and Ralph? Fair enough. They should provide us enough of a meat shield while we... Well, shred these people. All right. Eh. Hmm. Got an idea. Let's stay behind the wall. Or actually, no, that, that gets rid of our range advantage. Hmm. What? Let's see how this plays out. I think we've got enough to work with. And as it was pointed out to me before, I didn't activate Petro's marksmanship command, which I really should have done. There we go. Everyone can now shoot a bit better. And everyone's gonna start shooting. Gear wise, the shield belts of these some of these are still down. That's good for us. Oof. Yeah, I think we're gonna be retreating behind the wall shortly. There's just a few too many. Yeah, I'm thinking this looks like swarmed territory. Oof. Fine, we'll just go back here, line everyone up, and we're gonna end up shredding those walls. I know we are, but it might be worth it. Just so long as all the animals follow us. Come on, guys. Let's get back inside. I'm liking our chances. If they've got to funnel through that little choke point, it's basically just a little kill box of our own devising. And they should be rather quick. We will shred the walls a bit, but that's okay. Numbers-wise, how are we looking? we got 397. We just got to kill 200 of them this way.
That... that was kind of beautiful. Like, and it's right beside our corpse pile as well. This is where we burn all our, our leftover clothing, so we can strip a whole bunch of corpses here and just add them straight into our food section. That is amazing. Now, I was worried about these guys over here. They seem to be heading towards our kill box, and... Maybe they might have stolen something, but I don't think they got a chance. Instead, they just got there, and by the time they did, so many people had died, they're like, okay, right, we're out of here. Okay, so, time to patch the place up and get on with our day. That was a lot of shield-belted people, but... Yeah, no bothers at all. Oh. I suppose we did kill a few at that doomsday. I really thought that doomsday didn't do too much, but... I suppose it did leave a little bit of a mess, at least. I would have loved two doomsdays, though, or if they didn't all have shield belts, that would have made an even greater mess. All right, let's get everyone back to work. That was, uh, pretty handily handled. For the love of- they haven't even left the map yet, Randy. What are you doing? I suppose this is endgame raids, but I do feel like they're, they're, they're hitting a lot more frequently than they normally do. Well, so we've just killed 400 whatever blood eaters. Now what- to, now what's the time for? Come on. And it's a raid from the Greybush Union, and I'm seeing three big red blobs on the map. Are they breachers? Uh, they're attacking immediately, unusually clever with their tactics, avoid your turrets, field of fire and such. All right. Christ, it just... Hmm. Is the endgame raids always this close together? That feels like there was no time between those two. All right, uh, we will probably use this kill box. Oh my god, we're going to have so many corpses again. H how many... Actually, I can't even tell how many enemies we've got because we, the, the last crowd haven't left the map. So, you guys, what are you? Well, you're over 200. You're... Yeah, what, what's the bets you're over 200 as well? Come on. Yep, you're definitely over 200. And you're going to be over 200. Okay, so we got over 600 of them. I'm not wasting triple doomsdays on those guys. Uh, we'll just line them up in the kill box, get some people to hold them off, and we'll put it back six to eight people on shifts taking care of them. We'll just make two teams and start slaughtering them that way. Until the kill box starts to break down, of course. And we're going to have to keep everyone inside, close some doors. I really was hoping to fix this up, but I think that will have to wait. Um... Actually, we might be able to rush out there and do it now. The rest of the place is sealed in all the way around, so if we get three dedicated people to do that, we can pull that person out of the doorway, fix those two sandstone walls, and be done with it. On the bright side, the fleeing people are getting attacked by the attacking people, so... That kind of helps us a little bit. It slows them down just a little bit of time, gives us time to fit that wall finished. So, I made a stupid mistake. Remember the way I set up Ralph to be a caravan to carry both the, uh, the beer and the, the doomsday and all that? Well, I never took him out of that caravan, so he left in the caravan, or tried, and then we brought him back in immediately because I was an idiot and didn't think, well, okay, I figure we can get him back in safely. We, I was going to leave him outside, but then I thought, if we bring him back in, we've still got a jump jet pack, we've got Berserk, we have options. Like, we have at least four charges on this left. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so we've got four charges, we can get him where he needs to go pretty quick. Hmm. This is not the best place to come back. I was kind of hoping there, despite all the things, because then we could immediately jump twice and we yeah, straight at the door. But these guys are so close to the door, it's actually a problem. We need an area where they're not close to a door, where they can't sneak in behind us. Uh, okay, we're going to start running. I have people headed towards the kill box, though, so... Uh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'll just sneak him in the back door. We'll I'll jump jet past the people who, who aggro to us. At some point, they're going to stop to shoot, right? some point? Uh, never mind, it's gonna skip us. Yeah, we, we're we out of there, buddies. I, I think the range on some of these should at least be able to hit us. Yeah, okay, they're they're confused. I think the AI is completely bugged out because this is a little bit of a weird situation for them to be in. We now have... Oop, you get there, you get there, you get there. And I think three? No, 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 you're on the line, buddy. And Slim, I think Slim went back to bed, did they? Nope, they are tending to... Oh, they're tending to our wargs. That's a good idea. Our wargs took a few ki uh, took a few hits during that last encounter. Hey, right, Roth gets to safety, and then we'll just end up grinding down the rest of the enemies in front. Oh my god, you can see on the map up there, it's just... It looks like a weird blob of red just slowly grinding its way towards us. As they steal door, get on the other side. And then if any of them start to try hammering on the door, we'll just berserk pulse them until they go away and stop annoying us. Okay, I think that worked out quite nicely. We've also managed to reseal in this area, so we everyone has access to the corpse pile and the outside area as well, which gives us a little bit more leeway when dealing with these attacks. I think our best bet is to actually just slowly grind this down. We're in no rush. We can kill these guys all day long. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not good. 
they started bunching up. Um, like they shouldn't be able to do that. Have they patched this? Because that gun should trigger them through the doorway to actually bounce out of each other. Hmm. You see, the thing is, that is a really juicy target right there. If we could get a Berserk Pulse off in there, that would be really helpful. Yep, see, they're pushing through each other. I'm not liking that. Why are you guys not shooting, or are you? It's just taking so long. Uh, you. Actually, you can't Psychic Insanity Lens that guy. Uh, what the hell is happening? Why are you bunching up like that? Hmm. This could be a problem. There's like 104 of them there. Hmm. Uh, on in turn zero, I'm going to need you to get over here a little bit faster than that. Boost time. Oh, we managed to close these doors. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. And we'll get you to get off. One Berserk Pulse will cost us 65 Neural Heat. No, that's way too much. What you've got. Hmm. You know what? Open that door. Once we open that door, we'll close these two. They'll have to swing around. That should hopefully buy us just a little bit of time to figure out what the hell is going on here. Okay. All of you need to step back. And those doors need to start closing. Ooh. Okay. So, we will just open these two doors. That gives him somewhere else to go. And we'll just rotate everyone up there. Door closed. Come on. Why is that door not closing? There we go. Okay, let's open the top. They don't be quite so as annoying about things. Plus, we should be able to get around the back if we need to in turn zero to uh, give him a berserk pulse. That's weird. They shouldn't bulk bunch up like that. The entire purpose of that machine gun is to make sure that they don't bunch up like that. Much better. They're now slowly but surely dribbling in. That we can easily take care of. I don't know what's going on down here. I might want to double check this. Maybe I need to have that wall move back a bit or... No. We'll worry about it later. For now, things are back to on an even keel and we can slowly start fixing up our base. Well, we slowly grind through the... How many are there? Yeah, let's go back to the enemies. There's 776 of them. Well... Give everyone plenty of shooting practice. One thing I did want to test at while we we're here. What happens if we set a fire in this section? I think it could be pretty interesting. So we'll just put that pawn Grey Ghost right there. And then we'll have them start a fire. Oh. There is good. Actually, just... Come on. Come on. And then you can... Get back to wherever you were standing. Where, where were you standing? You know what? Doesn't matter. We'll just get you out of there for a second. And this is going to drive up the heat in here. Um, yeah, that's probably not going to be a fun place to be if you're any of the bad guys either. Damn it. I'll, f I'll figure out where your place is. Wow, this guy has hypothermia and he's shivering. In a room that's 199 degrees. Well, yeah, I'm thinking this is going to get hotter before it gets colder. It is actually damaging our walls a little bit because the enemies are taking different paths to try and avoid all the flames, but I think once the flames spread enough, it won't really make a difference anymore. Maybe I should throw more flames this side. You know what? Who cares? It'll all be on fire soon enough. Uh, Alright, so fun as this experiment was, uh, it's starting to get warm in here. It's like 87, 88 degrees, or it's dropping a little bit, 85. It's 80 degrees in this room. Um, that's going to become a problem for our people. I'm pretty sure they can't handle it yet. They can handle it at about 40 degrees, give or take. Whoa, 198. All right, anyone in the, uh, oh man, that would be awesome. Anyone in the Phoenix armor won't even notice as long as it doesn't go above 200, uh, roughly. So, like, yeah, like 198 degrees here on in turn zero. That is kind of insane. If we had everyone in Phoenix armor, if we had to wait another year, having this room at 200 degrees would mean nothing, and we could just, like, incinerate tribals as they came in. Uh, as it is, the tribals are... Yeah, the tribals are not enjoying that tunnel. Not in the slightest bit. And neither is my computer, but whatever. Uh, I might actually just start using mortars here. We have mortars, so why not just start lobbing them into the middle? I can grab a few people, chuck them onto mortars. We can just use the regular high-explosive shells. 
and do some just regular damage to them. So long as we aim at a reasonable place like over here, we shouldn't have any chance of clipping our own stuff, and we should be able to shoot through a few hundred anyway and help uh, cut down on the chaff. Oh, but before we do that, Totodas here is uh, demolishing a few wall segments. We're going to make the power room uh, sort of part of this room, just so that we can even out the temperature a bit. It's minus 21 degrees outside, it's 95C in that room. I don't want our people getting burns, so the moment that goes down it should even out the temperature a bit and we shouldn't have to worry about this place overheating and causing this place to turn into a sauna. We very slowly have a mortar shell coming in. You can hear it. Yeah, just a bit barely. But you can see it on the map as well. Oh my god. There you go. You know, normally these things move so fast you can't really keep track of them. But this is just glacial. Oh, I was worried it was about to fall really early. Come on. Ugh, oh, we, we missed by a fair chunk, but I suppose we got a few. Whew. Alright, any any more? Okay, Charlie is going to reload that, and I've got one more person coming in. Daryl, stop trying to train that Trumbo. You suck at training that Trumbo. How long have you been at that? Seriously, I've had someone on the mortar and started firing, and he's still been trying to tra tra train that one Trumbo. They are pretty tough to train, though. Ah, uh, would you look at that? You can have both heatstroke and hypothermia at the same time. Rimworld is such an amazing game. It just keeps on giving. Now, where's Petro? Dear Lord, uh, Petro will be along in about 30 minutes and he'll get to that mortar. And when he does, we can uh, double down on shelling this area and hopefully speeding this along slightly. Because right now, I can't do anything. The game just runs too slow. Since the game is, of course, functioning way too fast, I thought I'd speed it up a bit by firing an incendiary shell in here. Uh, just to see what will happen. I'm kind of curious what happens if we lob a... A very, uh, a very burny shell into the middle of this pile of people. Will they all pop out of each other, or will they just keep piling on top of each other and getting burned? Either way, I'm just sort of curious. I'm pretty sure it won't help my frame rate, but we do have this entire area roofed in as well, and I, I have no idea where that thing is now. Oh, there it is. Was that it? Kind of expecting something a little bit more spectacular, but... Eh, it's fine, I suppose. They'll get a, a little bit of burning on them. Hmm, I was kind of hoping we'd have a little bit more, or something a little bit more dramatic. I was expecting the blast radius to be a bit bigger. Never mind, here comes another mortar. This one's actually high explosive. I've just got the two mortars firing high explosives from now on. Oh, and Daryl, are you finished with that trombo? I think, I think Daryl is actually finished holding recurve boat. No, no, no. I'm going to get you over here and man that mortar. I want three people on mortars. It's the only way we're going to get through this before I die of old age. Ooh, this might be a nice hit. It's right about, oh, come on, anywhere in there, anywhere in there. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that killed a fair few. It's just there's so many piled on top of each other that even the ones it doesn't kill, it's going to, like, do an enormous amount of damage to them, and they'll bleed out eventually. In fact, let's just uh, check. How's Charlie doing on the kill front? Charlie has 559 kills. Petro's on 548. Dear Lord, Daryl, you're going to have to catch up with him, Daryl. What are you on? You're on 324. Well, I think everyone's got a fair few kills under their belt. It's just been one of those colonies. In one way, this is kind of hell, but on the other hand, it's kind of nice watching the mortars hit in slow motion. You can see it right there. Ooh, just a little bit further. Yeah, anywhere around here is good. Anywhere around there, come on. Oh, no, it overshot a little bit. Eh, it's still got enough of them. Each one of these mortars is doing far more damage than I think any of my other mortar shots I've ever done before. Well, okay, excluding anti-grain, of course. It just means we've got that nice part there where they keep punching up. It's also what's probably call it causing all of our lag. The way this game handles heat is a little bit weird. Uh, you'll see in here that this room is about, oh, 940 degrees. You can see it down there in the bottom right. Then when you come over here into this area, it's actually 491 degrees in this section. And then if you actually look inside this steel doorway here, it's 129 degrees, 138, yeah, so it's about 120 to 130 degrees inside these doorways. So if you stand there, you get heat stroke. But the moment you're outside those doorways, minus 15. You're effectively outside. So we're standing right there, and everything in front of them is basically molten. It's just flesh is melting off bones and everything. In this area out here, I am so glad we tossed in one of those flame things, because the fire has been slowly spreading and spreading, and as we add more corpses, more fire to, gives more places for the fire to spread. And because we roofed the whole thing, the snow can't put it out. And it's slowly burning lots of them. Like, there's just... Mm, it's perfection. Like, look at this. You can see all the red there. All the red on all of these is because they've been injured. I kind of don't... Mm, maybe I should stop because I might actually end up taking out the... Uh, 
the wall segments that are keeping up the roof, and then the snow would put out the fire, but I kind of don't want to stop mortaring. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be a good hit. Who got that off? That was Pietro. Uh, you're at 565. Let's see what you get out of this. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Right there, right there. Oh, he overshot. Damn. You got seven kills out of that. I mean, for a mortar, not bad, but you could have got about it. Like, if you're just a little bit more to the left, you could have hit about 10, maybe 20 even. Hey, one of them is trying to run away. Okay, that's one group down. Oh, that's so much better. Uh, that should hopefully cut down on all this lag. I think we can cut out the mortars right now. That place is a blazing inferno. It's exactly the way we want it. You guys can go on hold fire. We're, uh, we, we don't need any more of that. Just, just reload the mortars and then we'll let you off duty. And we've been rotating a few people through here, but uh, I think I'm going to wait until people go take a nap. What are you all doing over here? Oh, horseshoes. Never mind. So, we have a bit of an issue over here. It turns out one of the fleeing enemies, uh, Shark, I think is their name, decided to flee through this door. Um, so yeah, instead of fleeing out this way through the, the Sea of Flames, they decided it was safer to go through the door. Which, I, in retrospect, yep, that, that seems actually like a very reasonable thing to do. So... I tried to repair it with Unbreakable, couldn't get there in time. The guy's just broken through, and I think it's time we ran. Uh, Unbreakable? Run, buddy. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need to run a bit faster. You're being... Actually, the guy behind you is on fire, so he's probably not too motivated. We are going to close that door, get Slim to hold that corpse away. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone move. Come on, get out of here. And... Hmm... Where are you going? No, I changed all the zones for everyone. No one should be allowed in there. Uh, colonist inside? Not allowed. Uh, no drugs inside? Not allowed. I have two different zones. One's for people who have uh, chemical dependencies and one for do people who don't. Uh, what are you doing? Six condi feeling stressed. That's probably because you're on fire. That door gonna close? You're gonna close? Yes. Perfect. Then... Uh, and break, oh, maybe get behind this door again. Quick, repair it. In fact, who's got better repair skills? I want to make sure this doesn't happen again. We'll bring Slim back over. They've got a construction skill of 15. Where, where? No, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. But Don't even think about going in there. Yeah, I gotta double check those zones to make sure they're fine, but I think we're good. The rest of them should break shortly. I mean, like, there's so much fire out there. Come on. Oh. For a second there, I thought the game was hanging and we were about to get hit by another raid. Never mind, no, it's just the game pooping itself because of all the fire that's going on. What? Yeah, they're going to trash this place, which is kind of unfortunate, but... We can fix that. Probably? Wait, no. I think the game has? Is there a raid coming or is there not? Everything is just... It, it's lagging and going all over the place. It, it just doesn't seem to know what it wants to do anymore. Uh, you repair that door. Unbreakable, you can get back to work. I'm just gonna have to double check this to make sure no one does anything stupid like try to go out this door. Unfortunately, this room is only up to minus 13C because it's technically outdoors now. We can't actually heat that up anymore. That's unfortunate, but it is getting more and more full of fire, so... Oh, there's also some some fuel in there. Well, that's fine. Hopefully they'll break soon. I mean, they got it, right? There's just... Who would want to continue attacking a place when it looks like this? There's nothing but people running around on fire, blood everywhere, and corpse blossoms everywhere as well. This is, like, just ridiculous. Run! Break! Do something! Where are the numbers at? We got 360 of them left on the map. Oh, yeah. Looks like they activated that, uh, that fuel thing. Oh, you're running away now? Really? Now you're running away. I wonder why. Oof. Well, the steel door survived. Now the whole room's a blazing inferno. Are you happy? Because I'm not happy. Uh, I would have liked that fuel. I could use it for more of my uh, in Inferno cannons. Though, honestly, I think we've got enough of them. Oh, wow. They have really decided to bunch up there. They're passing through so much flame, they're just all going to end up on fire. I I just don't understand the reasoning here. This is death. Uh, I suppose they're AI. Whatever. They have no reasoning. All right, a second group are fleeing. That's good. But they're going to smash down more doors, of course, because they're freaking idiots. Yet, there's still fire out that way, buddy. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We don't care anymore. I think we've... Yeah, we don't have to worry about them. Actually, we might have to worry about them smashing on that door again. Seriously? I think they're going to try and break through this door as well. Ah. <sighs> Fine. If we must. Uh, yeah, that should do fine. 
slim pull back there's there's if this if they've decided they're coming through this way there is nothing you can do about it they're just gonna pan through that door in about two seconds flat like where are they gonna go from there though like this is yeah I really should just I I'm regretting setting all those fires don't get me wrong they are incredibly pretty I mean look at them uh, the problem is though well now we gotta deal with the fallout from all of this which is going to be a whole bunch of these trying to pound their way through our base. They're going to make another hole, and we're going to have to fix that really quick. And uh, what day is it? It's five days in. Oh my god. I, the, what I was trying to do here was take care of these guys slowly but surely. And... Huh. So maybe get back there. You, maybe you can repair that door? No, you cannot. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 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 Right. That's also going to set off all that stuff in there. Oh man, this is just sort of annoying. Oh well, it's fine. We'll just have to kill whatever's left. Uh, there's a fair few angry ones still going, but it shouldn't be that hard. Okay, start shooting them down, boys. We're gonna have to deal with the fleers first, and then the actual attackers after that. Oh! Oh no, you don't. You don't get to beat down two walls, buddy. You see, that guy there, he just knocked down that door. And instead of running out there through the fire and flame, and there's a doomsday. Why is there a doomsday there? There shouldn't be a... Oh! There was a doomsday here and something happened. Was tele oh, God. Um, Ralph, gonna need you, buddy. Uh, yeah, you got a few things going for you that might help out in this situation. Uh, first of all, let's do that. Perfect. Get in there. Uh, what are you all doing? Yeah, you're holding that line. That is excellent. Um, I'm thinking we need to let a bunch of people off the hook here. All of you. Except for Ralph. Uh, damn it. Nope. Undraft. Ralph? Gonna need you to get in here, buddy. Quick, 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 quick. Everyone else is going to start putting out the fires. Your job is to get to that do Oh, the doomsday. Okay. I do not want that doomsday exploding. Come on, come on, come on. Thing is, as long as we get to it before it goes above 50% and we can get a... Okay, let's see. Water skip. I want you to do a water skip right there. Perfect. No, I don't want to capture any of these Muppets. They all deserve to burn. What I can see... Everyone's broken now. They're all running away. There's nothing left. And the flames are spreading gloriously across here. We need to somehow reclaim this place. Uh, which reminds me, I should take everyone off their zones. Yeah, let everyone back out. We can start trying to put out those fires and hopefully rescue these things. We also need to replace the gun turrets and fix up the kill boxes before the next wave arrives. We don't want to be facing them without all of this setup. Otherwise, we're going to get overrun. So we need this place back under control as soon as possible. Uh, Sarah, do you have water skip? Yes, you do. Excellent. We're going to need you as well. And in turn, you do not have water skip, and you don't have skip either, so you can you can just keep doing what you're doing. All right, simple enough. All we do is we're going to get in here. And that place there should get a water skip. Come on. Perfect. Sarah, you're going to do a water skip over here. Actually, yeah. There. Ralph, get down here. Try not to step in the fire. Uh, God almighty, this is a mess. Like, this area used to be our... Oh, God, there's grenades over there. Uh, Sarah. Yeah, could you uh, water skip on top of those? That would be nice. Thank you very much. We don't want those Molotovs going off. All right, you need to immediately... Oof. Damn it, your neural heat problems... Down to here. If we can get him... Come on. If we can get him just one more water skip, which requires 25 neural heat. Oof. Come on, hurry up. What's that at? 84%. You've got a little bit of time. And in fact... Yeah, you know what? Sarah's going to come down and help you out. I would prefer to save that doomsday if at all possible. And I think... Done, done, and done. Oof. That was a mess. That was a horrible mess. And Totvidas, should you be getting a little bit toasty there? It's like a hundred degrees in that doorway. Stop standing at that, buddy. In fact, 
all of you back to work. Thought of you. Then Sarah's gonna come down here. She's gonna use her water skip to help cool this place down or to help get us. Valiant is being burned by super heated air. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure no one goes in there for a minute, and I'll have to change the zones. We're gonna have Sarah do water skip on top of. Come on, get there. That tile. Perfect. And Ralph. Prioritize hauling that doomsday if you wouldn't mind, buddy. And done. And uh, what are you doing? You are beating out fire. Where? Where? What? What fire are you beating out? No, no. Get, get back inside, you. Don't don't do anything dumb. I don't want them going around the top or anything like that. That would be crazy. Uh oh. Someone hold that pila out of the doorway, and everyone get back to fighting fire. Grey ghost. What are you doing, buddy? I changed everyone's zone so you couldn't even go in there. Yeah, I obviously didn't change them well enough. Those guys are also going in to beat at the fire. Right now, we are frantically trying to rebuild the walls. Uh, that is actually done. I would like you to prioritize hauling them out of that choke point, if you wouldn't mind. Don't do that. Excellent. Now, prioritize working on that steel mini turret. I know you would like to grab some food and stuff, but we need those replaced, and we need that door replaced. Also, we need a bunch of doors down. <laughs> Uh, right, so it turns out all of these doors burnt down. I probably should have realized that was going to be a thing. That experiment was fun, but uh, remind me not to do that next time when we're in the middle of, uh, you know, a, an actual endgame mission. That was a bad idea. Limestone, I think, yes, limestone it is for all of you. We are going to make every single one of you out of limestone. That should make life a little bit simpler. How are these doors doing in here? Yeah, those doors are probably going to burn down as well. So we're going to be using this kill box for a while until the flames die down. Though, on the bright side, it did kill an awful lot of our corpse problem. We had over 1,400 at one point. We're now down to 1,400. Okay, so, well, it, it evened out. We burned as many corpses as we created. 4.8 days left on the engine startup, or the reactor startup. Fires blazing out of control everywhere. It's wonderful. Our people tried to start putting out the fires out here despite them not being in the home zone. I just stopped them from fighting fires for a while. We're going to cart some of these uh, bodies to where they need to go. I've stopped harvesting the bonsai trees. We just don't have time. We're too busy trying to rebuild our defenses. Now we've got one turret back up and running uh, that we can turn off. And then where are you guys going? You are going to build roof. Oh, yeah. The mortar poked little holes all the way through the roof. So that kind of made things interesting. All right. With that done, I think the next plan is open these doors should open these. This is going to be our kill box for the near future. We still have to finish repairing this one. I think we'll put in a door there and then close it. And that warrior is almost gone and, that's, and that uh, mm, steel door as well. We kind of incinerated everything. I should have been more cautious. Lesson learned. Actually, who am I kidding? I, I, I never learn enough lessons. We are back up and running as good as new-ish. Okay, we got to do some repair, like some at repair ups. Some of these sandbags are a little bit weak, but once we get the repairs done, we're all sorted. It was the doors and all that that had me worried initially uh this place is yeah so our bottom kill box is open i'll probably yeah we'll close the top one for now but this one now has all its doors replaced with stone so it should be a little bit safer all right everyone's grabbing naps uh, getting some loving in and generally just getting back on an even keel because that was rough i'm gonna get someone to grenade away these uh weapons over here we, we just need some storage space for stuff like we keep finding well bodies keep dropping in here leaving weapons everywhere and we need somewhere to put them because well, if we don't, they just keep clogging up the place. I mean, look what they're doing to our temple. What's it like in here? It's awful. It's awful in here right now. Despite all of our statues and everything, just because of the sheer amount of corpses and junk they leave lying around the place. I really have to do a big clean. Nothing like a little bit of housekeeping with grenades. And that should give us enough space to put down some more of these. Ah, uh, yeah, that's enough in turn seven. Good job. Just, uh, it, it's the dealing with all of the trash that's killing us more than anything else. Well, that and that enormous fire. That is probably the... It's just a mix of blood and soot everywhere. Oh well, uh, three ash, one dirt, uh, blood of four different people by two. Okay, that's that's impressive. Uh, let's clean the place up a bit anyway. It's looking kind of filthy right about now. Or or everyone can go and tend a marriage ceremony. God damn it, uh, Jerick. You know what? Yeah, you can finish chopping up that scyther. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in this room that does definitely not smell of dead people to uh, bind two people in holy matrimony. And is is. Delair hitting on more people? 
I think Delaire is, uh, yeah, try to tell, uh, try to interact intern seven. Damn it. Still have not named the interns. I mean, intern six has already killed eight people. Intern seven is up to 55. I am a terrible person. Intern six, the person we hired to be our melee blocker. Uh, we were going to get you another team or a team member, but from now on, you shall be referred to as Burger Meat. Yep. That is actually a perfect name. Good job, Burger Meat. Welcome to the team. Intern 7. You were hired because you're neurotic, which means your global work speed is increased by 20%, and you had crafting. And oh, okay, the steadfast was pretty handy as well. From now on, you shall be known as Op Opotosy? Op Optosy? Um, op. You're, you're Op from now on. That that's. Uh, I'm not risking it. It's just too hard otherwise. All right, we'll let the wedding continue. Once the wedding is done, we can get everyone back to work, assuming we're going to get attacked in the meantime. So oh, come on, Intern Zero looks absolutely baller when they're there on that on that throne. I don't know, I think it's the wings or something like that, and just their character model is so much bigger than all the rest. All right, oh, and it turns burning people a lot makes it really easy to capture lots of them. Well, I suppose we've learned that on the, the 200 colonist base. So yeah, we, we could have captured a whole bunch of people there, but no. We are gathered here today for Grey Ghost and Sarah. I think Grey Ghost is the current winner at the moment. Uh, or, yeah, I think they might actually be in the lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, Sarah has seven partners, and Grey Ghost has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I think I think it's ten. Yeah, so they're, they're our current leader with ten simultaneous relationships. I think there's two people in position nine, but uh, yeah, just Grey Ghost is way out in the lead. That's incredible. I'll have to actually figure out, there's only one person left for them to hook up with at this point. They've literally hooked up with every other available person. Oh. Well, glad you could make it, Ralph and Simo Simao. What the hell were you two up to? All right, we'll let them get their little celebration in afterwards, and then we'll get everyone back to work. What the? It's a fist fight. That doesn't happen between our people. Eh. Just to see Antique Delir. What the hell is going on? You, you don't even hit each other. Okay, okay, I, I, I can see what happened here. They hit on each other and failed to romance you minus 28, and D Delir is like... Yeah, uh, insulted me, harmed me, and disfigured me. Okay, the insulting, harming, and disfiguring happened afterwards, but mm, I think what we probably should do is maybe grab them a few sacrifices to make sure that, you know, they end up happy. Yeah, we got several people in here that they could execute. Uh, one second, we'll just get rid of those beds for a second, and then uh, we'll just change this place over for prisoners. We can just stick in, like, four or five prisoners in here, and then uh, get rid of them. Oh. So, after all the fire, flames, and repairs, we're now right back where we should be. Uh, we have four days left on the reactor startups. Yep, on every single one of them. Let's see what Randy has in store for us next. In the meantime, we're going to tidy everyone up and maybe get them a little bit of medical coverage. And you... You know what? Up, you can put on that uh, Phoenix armor. Why not? We've got... Actually, we've got two pieces of Phoenix armor. Another one is available. Who do we give it to? I think we've got all our casters in it, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, unbreakable? Nah. They're already unbreakable. We'll, we'll start at this end and work our way down. Well, it looks like the honeymoon period is over. Yep. It's the next raid. And I'm betting it's humans again. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not missing the, the mechanoids. The mechanoids are absolutely nice, marish, and humans give you a lot more tools to actually kill them. But it's definitely killing my PC. It's kind of smoking just a little bit. Hey, there we are. It's a raid from the Arrow Army. Uh, dropping right on top of you. They are attacking immediately. Used points, 14,000. Okay, so they're about 1.4 times as large as a normal walk-in raid, but they're landing on top of us. Oh, come on. You're going to land right here. Hmm... Okay, okay. Um, problematic. Yes, that is very problematic. <laughs> oh, Christ. How are we going to take care of this? Where's the closest doomsday? Okay, Joshua is literally right beside the doomsday. Um, hmm. Let me think. Well, this is pure nightmare fuel in a lot of respects. The problem is... This is a this is a pirate faction. All right, let me just bring up the message here. Where is it? Yeah, they carry gunpowder weapons. They could have triple rockets. They could have doomsdays. They could have anything. So Josh, um, I'm sorry about this, buddy, but you're going to be doing some close quarters combat stuff. Oh God. Oh God. 
Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Um Right. Well, this could be a problem. Okay, this is going to be a big problem. Um Oh ho 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 ho. All right, Josh, you're not going at the door. Um, no way you could make it. Not in time. We'll pull you back here. We're going to have to get actually everyone. Damn it. I don't want you to. Okay, all of you. I want you drafted. Then I want you there. Yeah, we're going to have to put a shield pop around you. Except for over here. You're, you are going to pop down there. And uh, the rest of you are going to pop back here a little bit. God damn it. Hold on while I micromanage this just a scooch. Plan here is very simple. We're going to have Burger Meat go up front. They're going to tank. And then we're going to have everyone else behind them. Or the three people go behind them to try and do some shooting. And depending on how that goes, they may end up retreating and leaving Burger Meat to, well, eat a few things. But that's fine. The rest of the group... They're also headed over here. We want to make sure they're out of the blast radius of these. Because, you know, these, these unstable power cells are inside the walls. And I'm worried that in this resulting fight, things are going to get destroyed. And if they get destroyed, the resulting blast could be, you know, very fatal for us. So, let's slow this way the hell down. Yeah, suddenly the game's all fine with doing, like, really fast stuff. Can we actually target those drop pods while they're... Oh, wow. Two of them actually landed on top of the batteries. Well, that's good, I suppose. I mean, never mind. What I'm going to do here, though, is... Let's make a hole. I want a hole through there. Wait, where did I put the other ones? Yeah. I want you to shoot through... Yeah, that. Grab it. Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. Uh, do we need our animals in on this? I don't think we do. And yeah, to there, once you get your, once you get tended for the fight you just got into, we're going to have you and Valiant come in and join us. Yeah, if we could blast through that, I would love to fire a doomsday out there and make a mess of the people outside. Uh, animals, you, oh, I don't think the animals are going to help here. And if, if anything, they're just going to cause more of a mess. I think we put them into a safe zone and keep them out of the way. Okay, everyone done. Please don't be full of explosives. Okay, so far, you know, heavy machine gun, stuff like that. Oh, that... Oh, God, they're going to kill us, Rumbo. Eh. Okay, let the shooting begin. Okay, they do have a shield pop. Um... Hmm. Guys, I would like you to not shoot the shield pop guy. Instead... Oh, this is awkward. They've got two people behind them. Hmm. Heavy SMG guy. Yeah. In fact, I got an idea. How's about we do a little something like that? Yeah. You. Uh, yeah, just put that right there. Uh, you two. I don't want you to shoot anyone with a shield pop. That's fine. You can shoot that one. Okay, perfect. Now, over here, it is a complete mess, but I'm not seeing anything too dangerous. Are we yet? Okay, we got some smoke launchers and some biocoded EMP launchers. Oh, triple rockets. Okay, we do have a triple rocket on the field. Got to keep an eye out for those. They will be devastating. Oh. Okay, slow and steady. Damn it. The shield popped. But, ah, they're still on fire. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Okay, how are we looking over here? Uh, we need to pop a shield. Nope, you don't have one. Who's got a shield pop? Eh. Perfect. Shield pop deployed. Ooh, that guy's up close. Uh, doomsday. No, there's, oh my god, look at that mess outside. 
Well, we've got a lot of humans we've got to deal with. Some of them are going to have shield pops. I need to do a whole bunch of inventory. I need to make sure that the ones that have shield pops, we don't target, or we skip them or do something to make sure that we can use their shield pops to our advantage, or at least not give the enemy advantage. Uh, give me a minute here. From what I can see, they have four shield pops left. Three of them out here, and one in here. Uh, Doomsday-wise, they've got several. They've only got one in here, which belongs to this guy, Fernand, and there's several people already targeting them. Um, yeah, like, a lot of people already targeting. Uh, including that one, and Briggle, yeah. So we're going to let this continue to play out just a little bit more until we're sure that Doomsday guy is down. Okay, I think his arms are gone. Yeah, he dropped it. So this is now on top of there. Perfect, now we can do a little bit more focus fire on some of the ones that are causing problems to our people. Uh, you three, target that guy. Ye oh, no, not the Doomsday. Uh, you three, I want you to target that guy. I don't want people who are getting close to us getting melee off. That is bad for us. Uh, there's one more guy with a knife. We'll take care of him in a second. Yeah, the thrombo calf died. Um, outside here is an absolute nightmare. They are going to crush everything here. They're going to destroy the mortars. We're probably going to lose all the anti-grain warheads. That's just the way it is. Okay. Now, you two get in there if you don't mind. Now, guys, drop that fella. Okay. You are targeting that one. You're targeting that one. Sarah's doing good. Casey's doing good. And you are killing this guy. You've cut off his leg and he's on fire. And yeah, your next hit should kill him. No, still alive. How is that guy still going? Okay, well, fine. Um, You guys. Hmm. Insanity lances. No, we do have skip that will help us grab someone else if we need them. Oh, also to put out that fire if it needs to be, but I think, I think for now, we hold position and wipe out the people inside this room first. We're going to just have to let them kill what's outside. We don't really have a choice. Oh my god, that low shield pop in there is actually being an issue. That low shield pop is protecting those two over there. I'm going to have to start focusing fire, so... Damn it. Hmm. Everyone on this side is dead except for that guy. All right. We have done a little bit of readjusting on our aim to make sure a few more die. Yeah, we got one there. That one goes down. What's that hissing noise? I don't like hissing noises. Oh, mortar. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I spread the mortars out. If they blow, they blow. But uh, at least they shouldn't take... Oh, God. That's going to take out that wall segment. Oh, I really hope they punch that unstable power cell afterwards. That would be fun. Though I should probably get Slim out of the way. That's the case. Okay, uh, I need you to do me a favor. Kill that burnout shield. Need it dead. I need it dead now. Uh, you. Insanity lance that guy. And uh, the rest of you... Not really much else you can do, to be honest. You actually can do a water skip for me. Yeah, right there. And let's see what happens with the explosions. That's down to 83. God, that's going to take forever to go down otherwise. Um... What's our what's our shield looking like? Our low burner shield has 16.7 seconds. They have 15. Right, they'll die first. The guys outside, however, are going to have plenty of time to do nasty damage. Mm. Oh, and just wait till they decide it's time to leave. Okay, that's... What the hell? Melee attacking. Why are you melee? Oh, yeah, we kind of messed you up, didn't we? Fine, you... I want you to t shoot that guy with extreme prejudice, if you wouldn't mind. And what the hell else just happened there? What exploded? Oh, another mortar? No, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Oh, God. They're about to get into the reactors. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think. We do have a doomsday. Yeah. No. No, nope, no, nope, that's just stupid. That's insanity speaking. Um, damn it. I could open up the door, but I'm afraid they've got triple rockets and all sorts of stuff in there. We need to take care of the guys inside before we start worrying about that. Hmm. I think we might be best off running in and meleeing them down, even. It's just this thing is going to take forever to go down. It's got 9.9 .9 seconds left on it, and in the meantime, they're trashing the place outside. There's an anti-grain warhead in that, is there? Well, thank God we built spare engines. 
Okay. There wasn't really much we could do here, to be honest. There was just, there was too much going on. Uh, you two can fight it out. You, shoot that shield. You, shoot that shield as well. It's keeping those people on the other side alive. Four seconds. Well, that was kind of a waste. You, nope. Strip him down. We're going to need those low shield packs. Okay. What's hissing now? Oh, more mortars. Uh, these guys are going to be really expensive, aren't they? And that guy's about to set off that unstable power cell. You know what? I'm kind of, I'm kind of fine with that. Go set off that unstable power cell. See if I care. The explosion's going to be blasting out at you, buddy. Uh, but it will remove most of these walls, and it will probably destroy a bunch of hats after that because we're going to open fire on these guys, and there will be a lot of explosions, like just so many. Hmm. Oh, yeah. And there's another set of explosions, and... Oh god, this is just so painful. Fine. Okay, you, all get around over here. We need you lined up. Things are about to get uh, very hairy. Yep, there goes the unstable power cell. Oh, beautiful. Alright, guys. You should have a clear line of sight. Start firing. Uh... Yeah, just make sure there's no one with doomsdays pointing at you or triple rockets or such like that would be bad. No, nope, we got snipers, a few things like that. This is just going to be a sheer case of micromanagement. The loading drop process has been cancelled. I wonder why. Alright, we're killing them nicely. Oof, you know, that's going off. Well, time to, I think... Put a doomsday down here. Oof. I think what I'd like to do, though, is actually move them a bit. I'd like them to get a more of a diagonal angle, so we're less likely to intercept anything. Right. Where is Sarah? I'm going to need you to give me a skip here. Skip them over there. Okay, now I'm going to need you to wind up. God damn it. Josh, where are you? There you are. Now, that is maximum. Okay, so right there. You miss by a bit. You're going to kill a bunch of stuff. You know what? Miss there. That way, if you miss up a bit, we don't care so much. Yeah, I think that's a better idea. Less likely for us to kill some stuff that we would like to keep. Okay. And... Come on. Come on. Yep. I think we got a few of them there with that one. Ooh, how many are still left alive? We have 72 of them. Christ, I'm not even sure how many landed. This has just been pure chaos. Oh, yeah, well, this is entire area has been completely annihilated. Uh, we have lost all our anti-grain warheads. We've lost an unstable power cell. And that guy has... What are you even equipped with? A smoke launcher. Right, you're not going to live long enough to get that off, but what I'm worried about here is they've got to have someone with low shields left. Uh, let me just check the numbers. So from what I can see, they have one guy left called Heartstone right here. He is the only one with a low shield pack. All the rest of them will just get shot and killed. So, so long as we just stay out of the range of any of their doomsdays, any of their triples, and that guy doesn't come near the front door. If he comes near the front door, we have to skip him before he gets bullets, or before he gets shot at, otherwise he'll give them a shield pop to hide behind. Okay, pirates are trying to flee. The question is, which direction do they try and flee in? Uh, oh, God, this is a... Yep. Well, this was fun. Come back any time, and by any time, I mean never. Uh, I... Okay, I'm way over time already for today, but the plan will be run down what, what, those that we can. They're going to smash open a door somewhere. We've lost two ship reactors, which is unfortunate, though this one's here at 65%, so not the worst thing in the world. Um, we have to rebuild all of this, and we don't have time to do all of that. I think the most important thing to do is get those two wall segments replaced. That gives our base integrity. Uh, replace these wall segments here. That should keep us good. Yeah, we also put out the fire in the bedrooms already, thankfully. So, yeah, yeah we should probably clean that out so people can have somewhere to sleep. But that, that will be for the next episode. Turns out there was just a little bit too much to squeeze into three. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Good luck.